fitting nickname in baseball history, mostly for good reasons. No one hustled like Pete Rose. His head first slide is... Peter Edward Rose Sr., affectionately known as Charlie Hustle, was a legendary American professional baseball player and manager who had a net worth of over $3 million at the time of his death. His career spanned from 1963 to 1986, and he is most remembered for his time with the Cincinnati Reds, where he was a key member of the dominant Big Red Machine teams of the 1970s. A versatile switch hitter, Rose holds numerous MLB records, including most hits, games played, at-bats, singles, and outs. His impressive career was highlighted by three World Series championships, three batting titles, an MVP award, two Gold Glove awards, and 17 All-Star appearances. However, Rose's career was marred by controversy. In 1989, he was permanently banned from baseball due to accusations of gambling on games, including those involving his team. Despite years of denial, he eventually admitted to the allegations in 2004. This admission has led to ongoing debates about whether he should be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, as the league's rules prohibit the induction of permanently ineligible players. Rose's legacy remains a complex one. While his on-field accomplishments are undeniable, the cloud of gambling allegations continues to cast a shadow over his career. His story serves as a reminder of the human element in sports and the enduring power of both achievement and controversy. Awards and Honors Pete Rose was a statistical powerhouse during his career, setting numerous records and earning individual honors. He won the Hutch Award, the Lou Gehrig Memorial Award, and the Roberto Clemente Award, recognizing his contributions to the game both on and off the field. While his permanent ineligibility for the Hall of Fame remains a controversial topic, Rose's on-field accomplishments are undeniable. He was a 17-time All-Star, a National League MVP, and a three-time batting champion. Rose holds numerous MLB records, including most career hits, at-bats, singles, and games played. He was also a versatile player, appearing in five different positions throughout his career. Rose's defensive skills were equally impressive. He retired with the highest modern-day career fielding percentage for a right fielder and left fielder in the National League. His contributions to the game as a hitter and fielder solidified his place among baseball's greatest players. Early Life Charlie Hustle, from high school to the majors. Pete Rose was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, in 1941. Encouraged by his parents, he played both baseball and football in high school. Despite being small for his age, Rose earned a spot on the freshman football team. However, when he didn't make the varsity team his sophomore year, he became discouraged and struggled academically. To help Rose focus on baseball and allow him to mature physically, his father decided he should repeat a year of school. This decision proved to be a wise one, as Rose's baseball skills continued to develop. By his senior year, he was playing for a local amateur team and had caught the attention of a scout for the Cincinnati Reds. With the help of his uncle, Rose signed a professional contract with the Reds upon graduation. This marked the beginning of a legendary career that would solidify his place in baseball history. Personal Life Pete Rose's Personal Life Pete Rose has had a complex personal life, marked by multiple marriages and relationships. He married his first wife, Carolyn Engelhart, in 1964, and they had two children together. However, their marriage ended in divorce in 1980. In 1984, Rose married his second wife, Carol J. Woolyoung. They had two children, but their relationship also faced challenges. Rose filed for divorce in 2011, citing irreconcilable differences. While separated from his second wife, Rose began an open relationship with Playboy model Kiana Kim. Their relationship was the subject of a reality show called Pete Rose, Hits and Misses, which aired on TLC in 2013. Rose and Kim were engaged for several years but never married. Throughout his life, Rose has faced challenges in his relationships, but he has also experienced moments of joy and love. His family has played a significant role in his life, and his children have continued to support him even through difficult times. Pete Rose has had a significant impact on the lives of his children. His daughter, Cara, 
has pursued a successful career as a television actress, using the stage name Chia Courtney. His son, Pete Jr., also followed in his father's footsteps by playing minor league baseball and even making it to the majors for a brief stint with the Cincinnati Reds. Rose's legacy has extended beyond his family. He has been referenced in popular culture, such as in Billy Joel's song, Zanzibar. In later performances, Joel has jokingly commented on Rose's exclusion from the Baseball Hall of Fame. Despite his controversial past, Rose continues to be a popular figure among fans. He earns a substantial income from public appearances and autograph signings, and many fans seek him out for his autograph, even during Hall of Fame induction weekends. His enduring popularity is a testament to his impact on the game of baseball. Professional Career Charlie Hustle's Rookie Season and Military Service Pete Rose made his major league debut in 1963, earning the nickname Charlie Hustle due to his aggressive style of play. He quickly established himself as a promising young player, winning the National League Rookie of the Year Award. After the 1963 season, Rose joined the United States Army Reserves and served for six months at Fort Knox. Despite his military commitments, Rose continued to play baseball for the Reds during his off-duty hours. His dedication to the game and his country demonstrated his strong work ethic and determination. Pete Rose's Early Career Pete Rose's career began with a unique feat in 1964. He became the first pitcher to lose a complete game no-hitter. Despite a late-season slump, Rose finished the year with a .269 batting average. To improve his skills, he played in the Venezuelan Winter League during the offseason. Rose returned to the Reds in 1965 with a vengeance, leading the league in hits and at-bats. This marked the first of his 10 200-hit seasons and the beginning of a nine-year streak of .300 batting averages. In 1966, he set a career high with 16 home runs. The following year, Rose transitioned from second base to right field. Rose's Batting Dominance The 1968 season showcased Rose's batting prowess. Despite a thumb injury that sidelined him for three weeks, including the All-Star Game, he finished the season with a .335 average, narrowly edging out Matty Alou for the NL batting title. Rose's performance earned him a second-place finish for the NL MVP award, behind Bob Gibson. Rose continued his dominance in 1969, setting a career-high batting average of .348. As the Reds' leadoff hitter, he led the league in runs scored and posted impressive power numbers. Once again, Rose claimed the NL batting title, narrowly outperforming Roberto Clemente, the infamous all-star game collision. In 1970, Rose was involved in one of the most controversial plays in all-star game history. In the 12th inning, he scored the winning run, but his aggressive slide into home plate resulted in a collision with the opposing catcher, Ray Foss. Foss suffered a severe shoulder injury that significantly impacted his career. Rose also missed three games due to a bruised knee. Pete Rose's 1973 season and the Big Red Machine In 1973, Pete Rose led the National League in hits and batting average, earning the NL MVP award and guiding the Cincinnati Reds to the National League Championship Series. However, the series was marred by a bench-clearing brawl in Game 3, sparked by Rose's slide into second base. Despite the incident, Rose's strong performance in the series, including two home runs, was instrumental in the Reds' eventual victory over the New York Mets. The Cincinnati Reds of the 1970s often referred to as the Big Red Machine, were one of the most dominant teams in MLB history. Led by future Hall of Famers like Johnny Bench, Joe Morgan, and Tony Perez, the Reds achieved significant success with Pete Rose as a key contributor. Rose played a pivotal role in the Reds' 1975 and 1976 World Series championships. His willingness to move from the outfield to third base strengthened the team's infield and opened the door for power hitter George Foster. In the 1975 World Series against the Boston Red Sox, Rose earned MVP honors for his outstanding performance, leading the Reds to their first championship in 35 years. The following year, Rose helped the Reds repeat as World Series champions, defeating the Philadelphia Phillies and New York Yankees. The 1976 Reds remain the only team to go undefeated in the postseason since the expansion of the playoffs in 1969. In 1978, 
Pete Rose delivered one of the greatest performances of his career, hitting three home runs in a single game against the New York Mets. Just six days later, he achieved another milestone, becoming the 13th player in MLB history to reach 3,000 career hits. Rose's 1978 season also included a remarkable 44-game hitting streak, which fell just short of Joe DiMaggio's record. The streak ended controversially, with Rose expressing frustration at the opposing pitcher's approach. After the 1978 season, Rose signed with the Philadelphia Phillies, where he played for five seasons. While the Phillies achieved success during his tenure, including a World Series championship in 1980, Rose's performance declined in his later years. Despite experiencing a resurgence in the 1983 postseason, Rose ultimately retired from baseball in 1986. Pete Rose's later career and legacy. Montreal Expos and return to Cincinnati, 1984 to 1986. In 1984, Pete Rose's journey continued beyond the Phillies. He signed with the Montreal Expos, where he reached another milestone, becoming the second player, after Ty Cobb, to achieve 4,000 career hits. Later that season, he was traded back to the Cincinnati Reds, his original team. This marked a turning point as Rose took on the dual role of player-manager, breaking the all-time hits record. On September 11, 1985, Rose achieved baseball immortality by surpassing Ty Cobb's all-time hits record with a single against the San Diego Padres. However, controversy arose from allegations of Rose using corked bats during this pursuit. Retirement and Legacy Despite the controversy, Pete Rose retired in 1986 with an impressive .303 career batting average and numerous MLB and NL records. His number 14 was eventually retired by the Cincinnati Reds in 2016. While his managerial career with the Reds didn't result in championships, his playing tenure cemented his place as a baseball legend. However, the allegations of gambling and the potential use of corked bats continue to cast a shadow over his legacy. The Dowd Report, commissioned by Commissioner A. Bartlett Jamati, detailed Pete Rose's alleged gambling activities in baseball games. Rose vehemently denied these allegations and refused to participate in a hearing. In response, Rose filed a lawsuit to challenge the fairness of the proceedings. Ultimately, Rose voluntarily accepted a permanent ban from baseball in exchange for MLB avoiding a formal finding on the gambling allegations. This decision effectively ended Rose's playing and managerial career. Following Jamati's death, Tommy Helms took over as manager of the Cincinnati Reds. In 1988, Pete Rose was involved in a heated confrontation with umpire Dave Pallone during a game against the New York Mets. Rose's aggressive behavior resulted in his ejection from the game and a 30-day suspension, the longest suspension ever given to a manager for an on-field incident. Following the incident, allegations surfaced about Rose's involvement in gambling in baseball games. An investigation led by John M. Dowd was launched, and in 1989, Commissioner A. Bartlett Jamati issued a permanent ban from baseball, citing Rose's violation of the game's integrity. Rose vehemently denied the allegations and appealed the decision, but the ban was upheld. The Rose scandal had a lasting impact on baseball, raising questions about the ethics of gambling and the relationship between players and managers. Rose's ban remains a controversial topic in the sport, with some arguing that the punishment was too harsh while others maintain that his actions were a serious breach of the game's rules. Illness and cause of death. Pete Rose, the legendary baseball player and manager, passed away peacefully at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, on September 30, 2024, at the age of 83. While the official cause of death has not been released, it is known that he attended an autograph event in Franklin, Tennessee, just one day before his passing. The county medical examiner's office confirmed his death, but did not disclose any further information. That's it for now. Shoot us in the comments section of your most fond memory of Pete. Subscribe and click on the bell notification.